So if there is 50% negative energy in all our institutions, including science, what does that mean? Does that mean 50% of the data is wrong? No. And let me use the example of Einstein and evil to explain the insidious ways that negative energy can infect an institution. If you watch my earlier videos, you know that I, everything Einstein did was correct, including the fact that the universe is static, it's not expanding, and that quantum entanglement doesn't work the way most people think it does. Yet everything else Einstein done has been correct. So why are these two equations wrong and so important? If everybody on Earth knew that the universe wasn't expanding, they would have to look for another reason that the stars were moving. And that would make them look, maybe the stars are living beings. And if the stars are living beings, then everything else in the universe must be alive too. But if you believe the universe is expanding, which it's not, then you can use the explanation for weird stellar movement using any wild ideas like negative energy or magic pixie dust, invisible matter, which doesn't exist. So that equation was interfered with. And the quantum entanglement equation is interfered with because space acts as a liquid, not a fabric. Now, believe it or not, the really good elite scientists know this already, but most people don't. Which means everything after Einstein, the physics have been wrong. How did this happen? Well, this bastard, Oppenheimer, was actually a negative evil entity. And his goal was to give the atomic bomb to humanity so they could destroy themselves. So how do I know Oppenheimer is evil? Because look at the speech. When he says this, Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of He's not talking to humanity, he's talking to the people above, letting them know, I just gave humans the atomic bomb to kill themselves. Fuck you, I gave them the atomic bomb. Huh? Prometheus. Oh, much like Prometheus brought fire to the humans, Oppenheimer brought the atomic bomb and the ability to destroy themselves to humanity. So his evil presence with him and Edwin Hubble and Einstein was able to effectively hide the fact that the universe is not expanding and that quantum entanglement works because space acts like a liquid and that's how it's able to move the way it does. So again, most of Einstein's data is correct. It's just two very important equations were messed with. That is the negative energy in physics today. The fact that everybody still believes that the universe is a fabric and that it's expanding.